Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today I have Dr. Rufus Rankin on the line, and he is Director of Research at Side Pocket. Rufus, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Adam. Great to be here. All right. So, uh, Rufus, I understand you're an investment manager, a researcher, an educator. I mean, been in the business a long time. Excited to have you on the show to bring value to our audience and your insight and excited about today's topic. So we'll talk about um, insights and in investing, what's happening in 2022, going into 2023. And also we're going to have some time. One of my favorite topics, tactical asset allocation. So we'll be talking about that and what that means. Um, but before we do. We'll start this episode the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So Rufus, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. Rufus, what mission matters to you? So personally, I believe that investing is very hard, but it can have enormous payoffs for, uh, for individuals and organizations. So the main thing I want to accomplish is to try and help investors make better decisions. And then for Side Pocket in particular, what Side Pocket is trying to do is make tactical asset allocation, which is one approach to investing, available to a wider set of investors. It's awesome. Love bringing mission-based uh, individuals on the line to share why they do what they do, what we can all learn from it, and how we can all get better together. So great having you on. Um, just to get us kicked off, I mean, tell us a little bit more about your background. So how did you start in, invest in your investing career? Sure. I actually um, started out long ago in, in more of a, a sales role where I was representing an individual alternative investment fund. Um, and then through the years, kind of grew an experience to be working on product development, research, and portfolio management um, as the enterprise grew through time. Um, so I ended up, you know, over the years earning a doctorate in finance, as well as uh, getting to the point where I've allocated more than $2 billion to uh, different kinds of alternative investment strategies like hedge funds, as well as uh, more conventional assets like stocks and bonds. Great. And so I, to, to kick off the conversation, um, I don't want to assume that everybody listening uh, is aware of this, but let's just maybe start off high level. So tactical asset allocation. So what is it? Why is it important? Sure. Well, if you take maybe two steps back and just say what's asset allocation, very simply, it just means how much of your investment portfolio do you allocate to different types of asset classes, whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, or other things. And so there's usually, usually people think of two different broad approaches to selecting that asset, uh, asset allocation. The first is strategic asset allocation, and I think that's better known in general. And the second is tactical asset allocation. And the main difference is strategic asset allocation is likely to have a very static allocation. And a very popular form of that is your 60-40 portfolio, which allocates 60% of the portfolio to equities and 40% to bonds. Mm -hmm. A tactical approach is going to make adjustments to that allocation, usually a little bit more frequently than a strategic approach will. And the main reason for that, or the main goal for that, is to try and avoid uh, the large drawdowns or bear markets that we often see in different markets. It can be any asset class you look at, um, they tend to have bull and bear markets. And the main goal of tactical asset allocation is to try to reduce or uh, completely eliminate exposure to assets that are in a bear market. So cut off that left tail of returns, if you will, while still capturing most of the upside um, of different assets during their bull markets. 
and so just one thing I always like to bring out in, in this uh, in this conversation is this doesn't mean day trading, right? So it doesn't mean that you're, you know, in and out or that you're making like huge changes per se, like daily or anything of that nature. It's saying that you're you're shifting with the markets based on whatever your your analysis says over time. Am I off on that? Or and I know there's different models, but overall, am I am I off on that? Or is that kind of how would you describe it? No, you're you're right on. Generally speaking. Tactical asset allocation doesn't look anything at all like day trading or even, you know, weekly trading. It's really um, a, a, a slow and steady approach to asset allocation um, and not something where you're making big changes every day or every week. I think, you know, most popular tactical asset allocation models will have a few changes per year. Yeah, that's great. And uh, and and why why can that be important for a portfolio? Just understanding, and for everybody listening, obviously, like you want to you want to talk to your advisor, you want to talk to your individual investment, you know, professional. We're talking uh, general knowledge here, but uh, but why why can that be important when we think about complexity of markets, diversification? Like, why can that tactical component um, be a viable strategy for many? So in in. A, a tactical approach can be very helpful in the following way. If we are investing um, for kind of a fixed horizon, whether mm-hmm. it's, you know, paying for college, something I'm, I'm looking forward to in uh, 15, 20 years, uh, or paying for retirement or a home purchase or something like that, you know, the best way to grow your assets through time is to invest in things like stocks, bonds, and other assets. The challenge is, we know in advance that, you know, all of these assets will have bear markets from time to time. And those can be very, you know, large reductions in value, right? The problem is you, you don't really know when that's going to happen. So while a static approach makes sense for lots and lots of investors, for a subset of investors, having a strategy that attempts to avoid a large portion of the bear markets, Um, even if you do an okay job of that, that is reducing your exposure, say, excuse me, to equities when equities are going into a bear market or bonds or commodities or real estate or any assets that are in your portfolio, if if, uh, a tactical strategy can do an okay job of that, not perfect, by no means is this a perfect uh, a perfect strategy, but just by doing an okay job of reducing exposure uh, during bear markets, you can maintain a steadier uh, value of your portfolio through time. So if you just look at, say, the S&P 500, you can see there have been bear markets where, you know, the S&P has lost 30, 40, even 50, 50 percent of its value in bear markets. And so that's fine over a century, but if you have a specific time in the future where you're planning to retire or pay for college or something else, um, that can be kind of scary. So a strategy, a tactical strategy, or incorporating a tactical strategy with the help, say, of your advisor in a larger approach to uh, manage, managing your investments can help reduce some of that drawdown risk for at least a portion of your portfolio. That's the main point. So uh, taking me back, Rufus, to, to my advisor days, and uh, and I'm uh, and thinking about like what it took for you know the public or for many investors that weren't ultra high net worth to have access to a, a true tactical um, um, situation in terms of portfolio management. It wasn't always easy to it wasn't always easy to find. So I guess this is a great transition now that we've kind of laid the groundwork for what it is um, in the side pocket. So maybe tell us a little bit more about the company. Sure. So the founders of Side Pocket um, all have great investment backgrounds and uh, fintech backgrounds. And what they've done it, with Side Pocket is they've created an app that makes a whole menu of different tactical asset allocation strategies available to individual investors. So the the big gap between an individual investor and a tactical approach has been either A, you sit and watch the markets in your portfolio every day or at the last day of every month, and then you have your rules and then you rebalance, or you figure out a way to automate that approach 
both of which are really difficult for in anyone other than a professional investor. And yeah. so what SidePocket has done is they have automated all of that. So in a user of SidePocket can go in and select the strategy or strategies that make the most sense um, for them, and they will run automatically um, in the background. They won't have to do any of that heavy lifting themselves. Yeah, that's great. And can you talk a little bit about, um, for those that maybe haven't used an app like this, and I, and I know that there's still some development things going on, but can you tell me at least, uh, at least the goal of what that user experience would look like? Like ease of use. Sure. Do I have to have a lot of investment background or do I have to be an expert to use this thing because, uh, because, uh, I'm, I, I may know a little bit about the markets, but I'm technologically challenged maybe. <laughs> Right, right, absolutely, and that's that's what they're that's what SidePocket is trying to do is make it a lot more accessible. And so you're you're you you put the app on your phone, uh, you fund the account, whether it's with a traditional account or a um, like a retirement account, like an IRA, mm-hmm. and then you will have you know you'll have a uh, a kind of tutor that will walk through and try to understand um, what kind of risk level you have, what kind of investment horizon you have, you know, ask Mm -hmm. some of those profiling questions that a good advisor will ask to try and understand what the client or investor, um, what their goals are and what their risk tolerances are. And then you will be provided with a menu of these strategies that um, will hopefully be a good fit. And so you can pick one, you can pick two or three, uh, but it'll be very simple and easy to do on, on your phone. Fantastic. Well, uh, well, I'm sold. I think it's an awesome idea. I think it's great. It's just one of those things where now the, um, you know, now investors out there have a, another option for a strategy, another option for a tool, and another thing that they can use to diversify their approach and their investments, which I, which I'm a fan of. Um, so Rufus, I know we just uh, scratched the surface on Side Pocket, the offering, and what and what and what is in in the works for the app. If somebody is listening to this and they want to learn more or to follow the journey of the development and the launch and all that good stuff. I mean, what's the best way for people to do that? Oh, thank you. The easiest way to do that is to go to the website. It's www.sidepocket.com. So www.sidepocket.com. And you'll be able to put in your email address to get updates and notifications when everything is live and you'll get updates in the meantime. Fantastic. Well, Rufus, uh, it's been great having you on the show today and learning more about your background uh, and your views and also to learn more about SidePocket and all the great work that they're doing over there to help clients. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line, and we don't want you to miss a thing. And uh, Rufus, again, pleasure having you on the show. Um, Enjoyed our time together, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Appreciate it. Adam, thank you so much. I appreciate it.